Coombe and Cassia Cycle Team in association with Matthew Jim Marbella. We're on our way back from the press conference to the airport in Dublin. Well, Eddie, didn't disappoint again, Dublin. No, it's, uh, I want to do all my press conferences in Dublin. It's just the banter is unreal. The crowd um, introduced quite a, a number of new fights on this card. Obviously, Tim's against Sweeney, which was I was bombarded on social media for. But um, Patrick Highland against John Simpson, which was a great fight. And um, also John Joe Nevin. The Olympian will make his debut, his Irish debut, on the card. So it's a, it's a cracker. And Tim's and Sweeney went at it. I was actually quite concerned. That was borderline. Yeah, it was borderline. And uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I've seen a few pushes and stuff like that, but that was actually. If you let I that felt, go, yeah, hundred hundred percent, a hundred percent. So um, glad we intervened. Absolutely, and you didn't really have any security, here, did you? Yeah, we did. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you? <laughs> you used to be Ricky Hatton's security guard, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you come home alive. Tough guy. Hard man. <laughs> um, Matthew Macklin, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, scheduled to fight um, Jorge Sebastian Highland on the 30th of August. This is a, a bigger venue, more yeah. of a crowd. Yeah, we sold that out like within an hour, I think it was. So we were up to about 6,000 at the 3 Arena, which is formerly the O2 Arena. Um, it's a tough fight for Macklin. You know, he looked a little bit rusty last time out, rightfully so. He hadn't boxed, you know, in, in this year. Um, but Highland's number four in the WBC. He's the international champion. He just had a decent win. He's he's game. But Macklin's never in a bad fight, you know. So you know what you're going to get from Matthew Macklin, and um, he must win. He must win this fight. Otherwise, his dreams of a world title, uh, you know, they're um, they're over. And it's a really, really tough fight. I think it's a 50-50 fight, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, we can't wait. We can't wait to get there. The atmosphere is going to be absolutely mad. You know, the build-up, the press conferences, a fight week, especially when these guys are making weight as well. Um, it's going to be great. How uh, optimistic are you of making the Lee Macklin fight should Lee win against Well, I hope he does. I think they're talking about that fight now happening in America on December 13th. Yeah. Um, I hope Andy Lee can win it. It's a really tough fight. Um, but I respect him for stepping up to the plate and actually accepting the fight. I know that obviously others haven't. Um, so, yeah, I think he was due to fight Andre, Andre first and then Billy Joe got the shot. And then Andy, luckily for him, it's come on to him. So <coughs> um, it's a really tough fight, but fingers crossed Andy can do the business and that can set up a huge fight with Macklin. I think win or lose, Lee Macklin's still a fight that's really big over here. You know, you've spent time out here as well. People want to see that fight. Um, fingers crossed Andy can do the business. Obviously, there could be a situation where Billy Joe's put in for the winner of Lee. Yeah, I think Carbo. that's I think that's the the plan. Yeah, moving forward. Um, but you know, the good thing about Korobov is you haven't got to give him fortunes to come over and, and fight over here. So, and that's quite rare, particularly in the middleweight division. Um, but he's a good fighter, so it's a tough fight. Um, Anthony Joshua, they seem quite disappointed that he wouldn't be. Coming to Dublin yeah, well that's why I, I worked hard to get John Joe Nevin over as well. I'm also talking to Golden Boy about Jason Quigley. So, um, you know, it's it's important that we really stack the card here with, with Irish talent. Not just the good trade fights, but also the, the top young fighters as well. And obviously John Joe Nevin, one of the top amateurs here. Silver medal in the Olympics. He'll have his first fight in Ireland. And hopefully Jason Quigley as well on the bill. So. It's going to be a mad night, and um, Joshua's going from strength to strength as well. We've actually arrived at the airport, so... We'll, we'll do a bit pick, more after. Yeah, we'll just pick this up outside. Oh, we're all right here, are we? Okay. Oh, we're, we're right, right here. here. For one minute, we're for right one here. minute, one minute. We're all right here. Um, also on the bill, obviously, the Anton Fitzgerald and Spike O'Sullivan yeah. took over the press conference last time. Yeah. There. there was no Spike O'Sullivan there today, but... Uh, Fitzgerald and Pascal Collins Yeah, this, this is what it's all about it's about emotion it's about rivalry it's got to mean something and that's when you get a great atmosphere a great card and listen the winner of those can go on to big fights in the middleweight division Spike O'Sullivan is a good fighter so is Fitz he had a great fight with Andy Lee um, you've got Ryder in the wings you've got even Macklin in the wings you've got Billy Joe you've got Cor uh, Andy Lee it's a really good division still so that's a big fight for both of them mm. um, obviously talking to uh, Patrick Ireland obviously You've dangled a little carrot in front of him or John Simpson, mm. uh, potentially for uh, Warrington. Yeah, well, I, listen, I really like John Simpson. He stepped up to the plate every time. But he is a feather, or a super feather. He ain't a lightweight. And um, Highland's a good fighter. 
and I think the winner of that could be in line to fight face Josh Warrington. Highland against Simpson's a really, really good fight. And um, you know, it'd be interesting to see who comes through and, and maybe they get the shot against Warrington in Leeds on January the twenty fourth we're looking at. I think Highland was eyeing up Selby. Yeah, yeah, well listen, they, you know, Selby beats Gradovich. It's big fights in that division. It's great that domestically, even in the smaller divisions, big fights are available. Mm. It's the first show you're gonna be doing in Dublin, mm. so long term. Absolutely, it's definitely not a one stop shop. Um, it's got to be good, it's got to be a good show, it's got to rate well, the atmosphere's got to be banging, which I know it will be. I think we'll sell it out. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to November the 15th. Something different, you know, we, we go to a lot of towns and we've got to keep, I mean, Leeds has been a revelation for us, you know, and hopefully Dublin's going to be the same. Any developments from your 22nd show you can tell us about? No, but we're going to add a big fight and a, a huge name for British boxing on the card, not Audley Harrison, but another one. Listen, this fight, this this card, don't worry, I'm very confident about this and uh, most most of the fights will be announced, well, by the end of next week. Got well, Scott Quick press conference next week. This guy will have a press conference next week. Um, so, you said not, you, you can go like that and look No, no, I just, You know it is. So. I know, but no, you said not Audley Harrison, that's what... Uh, well, I haven't, com I haven't confirmed Audley yet. This, this guy's a bit bigger and a bit more serious. Yeah, I'm not disputing that. I'm mm. just saying, when, the only thing I pulled that face for was when you went, no Audley Harrison, or not Audley Harrison. Because you've been a big campaigner for him. So, well, Listen, we're at the airport. This gentleman's waiting to go. He wants to have his uh, grub, his Irish stew. So, uh, Just tell us something. About what? Anything. Um, I'm very tired. I was at the sports uh, boxing writers' dinner last night with you. With me? You know. And it's been a long couple of weeks. We've got a weekend off this week, but we have got Fight Pass on Saturday night, Steve Wood's show from Manchester. It's a banging show. And also Sky Sports, huge double header, Golovkin against Rubio and Walters against uh, Danau, which is a brilliant fight. It's been like seven weeks on the spin for boxing on Sky. It's good times. It's good and time. we have the week off this weekend, next weekend, Hull. Do not miss that show. It's going to be mental. All right. All right, Eddie Anthony, Strong Survival TV. See you later. Get on. Cheers, mate. Well